is an application uh, my older nephew's been working on. Um, the idea here is that there's an image, with his, which is your player character. Uh, there's a series of rectangles, which are the platforms. And then you'll be able to use these buttons if you're on a phone or the keys if you're on a keyboard. Um, he's written this in JavaScript, so there's kind of a, uh, an initial initialization which sets up the key bindings. And then there's an on-tick event which goes through all the platforms checking if the player has hit a platform. Um, otherwise it updates their walk cycle and there's kind of a left or a right facing version of the picture and then there's a walk cell I think it's uh, oh there you go four there are four drawings for the different walk cycles uh, and then these are the key bindings um, which determine whether you go left or right or jump and this is the um, the action for the physical buttons which just calls the keys and then uh, this is the set up the page function so this goes through um, finds the player uh, it goes through and finds all the rectangles, which are the platforms. So it basically makes the platform array uh, the size of the number of rectangles. So when we run that, we have a uh, character who can walk around. And if we press the up arrow, he'll jump. And it's obviously defies physics because you can go left and right while in the air. But uh, obviously you could change that. You could say once. Once you're accelerated up in the air, then you can't uh, move left or right, or the left and right controls are, are blocked. Um, but that's pretty cool for a small amount of code. And then um, my younger nephew Andy's been working on a project as well. So this uh, Leo's uh, 12, and let's have a look here. This is Andy's demo. He's nine. So Andy's been making a basketball game. There's quite a bit of... Um, detail he's been kind of building a system for um, loyalty and there's like a wardrobe thing where you can go and get clothes you can get different kinds of balls there's different ball ratings and stuff and then there's a physics uh, centerpiece which I've kind of helped him with so if we start the game you've got this little ball that you can control and if we grab the ball we can then throw it I'm going to try and throw it through the hoop See if I can just cheat and drop it. There we go. And hit, hit the rim, it bounces off the rim. And then uh, he's got a, a, a system here, get ball in the item shop. So this is a set image on image. It's currently set to an X. But if I go to the item shop and I pick a ball like this blue and red Wilson, so that's a set text on a text box. Uh, and when I press buy now, what it does is it adds that uh, by going set image on image. Um, so now I've got my new basketball, and I can try and drop that through the hoop. And now when I go back to my um, quests, <laughs> it's now got a tick. So he's gone set image to from across to a tick. So yeah, it's, it's sort of starting to come together. He's sort of creating the the page framework, starting to build the store, um, and uh, the plan is to have a locker where you can keep all your different um, props and stuff you upgraded. And then the uh, physics for this one. Um, it's some pretty simple JavaScript, everything else is done with actions uh, and Andy's not really ready for um, writing the, the JavaScript just yet but this is a pretty simple physics so it basically bounces off the floor uh, bounces off the left rim, bounces off the right rim if it goes between the left rim and the right rim it's considered a basket and it plays the appropriate sound so he's happy to modify this code but it'd be a bit, uh, you know, perhaps just, just a bit beyond his reach to write or change it um, whereas Leo's a lot more comfortable with that um, uh, with the way the platform game works and in terms of extending it as well. Cool.